In this video, we're gonna learn how to link multiple pages of your app design together to get it working. But before that, let's roll the intro. Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Sean and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're actually gonna be talking about how to add multiple pages to your mobile app design. Now, normally when you have an app or application, very rarely does it have just one screen. You normally have multiple screens that your user can navigate through, whether it's a detail page or another page in general. Now we're actually gonna be using a feature in Figma and it's called prototyping. And what prototyping allows us to do is connect and link certain elements that when it's tapped or when something happens to it, it guides us to a new page. So let's jump into Figma right now. Let's create a couple app pages and I'll show you how to link them together. All right, so we're gonna take a look at Figma and how we can set up prototyping or linking uh, from one page to another. So if we have multiple pages of our app using prototypes will allow us to click on an element from one screen and bring us to another. Now this is actually a feature that's built into Figma itself. Uh, so if you ever used Figma to prototype uh, app designs or websites, uh, we're actually gonna come onto the right panel here and instead of our design section, we're actually gonna go into the prototype section of this panel. Now, we don't need to pay attention right now to this, uh, but if we come back to our home screen here, uh, we have our home screen, we have our recipes, and basically when we tap on one of these recipes, we want it to open up the detail screen for that specific recipe. So what we can do is when we're in the prototype, if we select um, an element. Now, if I select this element, this is actually my container that I have selected. And you can see that this blue rectangle wraps this whole section. Now, I don't want this to go to the detail screen when I tap the container. I want it to go to the detail screen when I tap this actual element here. So if I double click in um, and keep going down um, the layers until I get to the section that once um, it's clicked, it brings me to this detail screen. So you can see that the blue rectangle only wraps this one recipe item here. Now, when you're in the prototype section on the right side, you're gonna see this little circle. And when you hover over it, it's gonna have a plus. And this is how we can link from one element to another page. So if I grab that plus and I drag, you'll see that an arrow appears. And I can drag it to the screen that I want it to open. So for this one here, I want it to open this detail screen. Now we can, on the right here, you'll see this pop up and basically this is gonna say when this element on tap, so when it's tap, it's gonna navigate to the detail screen here. Good um, design, of course, is always gonna have a way to, for a user to go back, right? So if we come to this screen here, how do we go back to the home screen? So in this detail screen here, we designed a back button. So if I double click on that, you'll see the same thing. It has a little plus button and I'm gonna drag that back to the home screen. And uh, make sure it's on tap and it's navigating to the home screen. So if I click off now, you'll see that when I tap on this recipe one, it's gonna link me to the detail screen. And if I hit the back button here, it's gonna bring me back to the home screen. So this is how you can link together multiple screens of your application. So if a user presses on something, you can navigate them to a different area. Uh, we're actually gonna build upon this and in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create different menus that Bravo has that you can build into your applications. All right, so now that you know how to create multiple pages of your app and how to link them and get them to work together, you can go ahead and create more pages in your application and link them together using prototyping. And if you folks are enjoying these tutorials, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed, you can subscribe to my channel right here. And until next time, see ya.